um, for three and a half, four years, I've had pain down my left side, and the doctors weren't quite sure what it was. We finally went to a chiropractor. She did traction for a year and then said, you're getting worse. So she, we got an MRI, and the doctor says some big, huge, fancy word, but it means your bones are supposed to stack like blocks. I've got one way out here that pinches the spinal cord, therefore my pain down my left side. It gotten so bad it was hard to walk some days. Um, they say chiropractic won't help, physical therapy won't help. They wanted to do surgery the second of March, but I didn't have peace about it. They would put two plates in and four screws, and then he goes, well, but I can't promise you that that'll fix it. They might get worse. He might have the bones above or below do the same thing. And I felt very hopeless. Um, I've been prayed for to help for a little bit, and then it go worse. And then I was just okay, contending to get money for a surgery, a $30,000 surgery. I was pretty hopeless. A couple weeks ago, a friend said she wanted to pray for me. I said, okay. <laughs> she started talking about the love of God. The real Heavenly Father does not want anybody in pain. That's not what he wants for his daughters. That's a lie from the enemy. Don't I believe that? And I wept because I didn't believe he could love us that much. I've been so independent, taking care of myself. But God does love us that much. So I had hope and started believing again. I had friends come in here to IHOP. And we started praying Thursday. God broke off. I had fear of being healthy. You <laughs> had the fear of being healthy. When I was healthy, I was beaten, betrayed. That's pretty scary to go back there again. Um, I had curses put on me, and God kept revealing these things, the twists, the lies of the enemy. They're all lies. God wants us healed. I finally pushed through and said, okay, Lord, I have to have it tonight. We have to go back to Wyoming tomorrow. And when someone laid hands on me, I collapsed to the floor. And he goes, there, get rid of your independence. Trust me. Okay. That was tonight. <laughs> that was tonight. And he says, humble yourself. You need your friends. So I went and asked my daughter to pray. And she wasn't praying the way I thought she should. I want to be in control. <laughs> but God said, I, do you want my help or not? And I said, yes, I give up. He goes, good, it's done. And I, my, there's no pain in my back. I used to be a dancer in church. I'm dancing tonight. God has healed me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Where was the pain? Where was the pain? Well, right in here. Right here. There's no. Could you bend over and? No pain. Let's dance. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen, who has back problems? You better get prayer right now, because the Lord is healing backs in the house.